listen up fellas, the situation at the front is getting really hot again. There is an enemy supply depot in Love Nad 14. A formation of F-51s, call sign Alligator, will take off and take care of business. Cobra's job will be to provide top cover with eight F-86s to protect them from the mid. Engines start at 1615 hours, take off at 1620. Regroup over the field, then head to the F-51 base in King Mike 97. Rendezvous at 1635 at 12,000 feet. They will also be on Boston's control frequency on channel 2. Once the formation is on the way, position yourselves 3,000 feet above and behind the Mustang. Don't let those MiGs get to them. You hear that? Don't let those MiGs touch them. We take out that supply depot, we give our troops some time to breathe, and believe me, they really, really need it. Dismissed! Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Hunters Over the Yalu campaign. Today we are tasked with escorting a flight of F-51 Mustangs to the north. We are heading towards the rendezvous point now, and I actually can see them, or what I believe to be them, right there off to 1 o'clock. So we are closing in on them. They are pretty close. Our designated altitude for the rendezvous is Angels 12, which we are pretty much at right now. When we go up north, our designated altitude is 15,000 feet. So we'll be above and behind our friendlies here. Let's uh, let's adjust course and get right on behind them. Alligator to Cobra, it is good to see you guys. And the F-51s are alligator flight. And we can reply to them now. Roger that, alligator. We have you in sight. All right, so we will follow them in. Our new heading is going to be 008 degrees for 38 nautical miles. So uh, not super long, but we still have our external tanks so we can use fuel out of those. All right, looks like they are heading towards the target area. We're gonna form up and fly behind them. Okay, the Mustangs have eyes on their targets. They are rolling in and beginning their attack. I'm gonna try to keep my eyes on them. We'll circle this little town that they are attacking. Starting to take some flak as well. And we need to keep our eyes peeled for enemy MiGs. Let's startle up. There's contrails over there off to three o'clock. That is a friendly flight that took off of 12 Sabres. So at least we have them in the area as well. Lots of flack. Okay, alligator flight destroyed the target. Looks like we are heading home, heading 188 degrees. Okay. Mix, mix. Alligator right. to Cobra, we're under attack. Where the hell are you? Okay, they're under attack. Uh, Cobra low, huh? We see the bastards. Cobra aircraft, let's go. Attack. attack. All right, uncage. I did not expect the MiGs to be extremely low and we need to jet our tanks punch those things I do not see the freaking MiGs okay anti-air here's the Mustangs we're flying through a few of them where's the MiGs there's a Mustang
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got one. That's a saber. That's a MIG. There we go. Okay, rolling in on him. Air break out. And it's going to be mighty hard doing this this low. Our radar gun sight is going to have some serious issues. Okay, throttle back up. And it looks like this guy's toast. Yeah, someone already killed him. Good kill. Lots of MIGs going down in flames by the looks of it. Parachute. <laughs> Keep my eyes peeled for any more. Go get up, Red 3. Sabres. Lots of sabers. All, all, MIGs down. all MIGs are down. Okay. Well, I didn't do much there, but that's how it is sometimes. We had one in our sights, but one of our friendlies was able to uh, move in and get the kill. All right. Heading, what, 118? Let's get out of here. Here we are, home sweet home. I'm going to order everyone to RTB at this point. I'm going to throttle down and come in for our landing. I suppose that kind of was a milk run. Uh, we did not squeeze our trigger once during that mission, but we got the job done. Looks like another flight is airborne. That's not coming from here, is it? Anyone on the runway? Oh yeah, look, they are taking off. Okay, I want to make sure the runway is nice and clear. Alright, but I think the runway is clear now. We should be good. Lower our flaps a little bit. And uh, get ready to turn in here. Drop our airspeed down. We are going quite fast. Air break out all the way. Okay, passing 300 knots. And hopefully we have a good landing after the last one. Our gear should drop, so <laughs> there is that at least. All right, gear down. And those wheels down. And there we go. All landing gear is down. Beautiful. Okay, then going to pass 200 knots. Want to throttle up a little bit. Avoid nosing into the dirt there. Looking good though. I will say, landing the saber is quite uh quite nice overall. It's a nice plane to land. Okay. I don't see where everyone else ran off to. Check our airspeed. In. Still good. And we are coming up towards the end of the campaign as well. We only have two missions left after this. Overall, I have to say, I am really enjoying this campaign. This is my first time really playing a official DCS campaign all the way through, so I don't think I could have chosen a better one. Let's focus on my landing. Before I keep on jabbering and get, our, get us killed here. What a way to go out, huh? Okay, nice and easy. Q 
Okay, and nose wheel down. Beautiful. All right, hit the brakes. And we will taxi off. No kills today. My flight did solid work mopping up those MiGs. The hardest part really is establishing visual on the enemy, especially that close to terrain. I just have a hard time picking them out, but another successful mission uh, under our belt. We are alive. We protected the Mustangs and that's what really matters. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.